Hey guys, it is news with Crypto Marie Local and International. Trump says he shouldn't have left the White House as he closes campaign with incredibly dark message. Guys, this is a dictatorship mindset. For you to lose an election and still four years later regret leaving power for the winner to take over did not attend inauguration. This is ridiculous, yeah. And one good thing I like about what's going on right now, VP Kamala has already leaving the White House. So the minute she declared to be the winner, she's already there. No big deal. And I feel like he already know he's going to lose. So he's going to insinuate violence. And as always, the news network are going to act like they don't hear it. They don't see it because he's an older white man. He feels like he has total power to say whatever hell he wants and nothing can stop him. Things Donald Trump have been saying and done if former President Barack Obama or current president, uh, president, <laughs> current vice president Kamala Harris were to say half of the stuff, she would deem to be unfit to be president. Declare or dropped out, step aside, you cannot represent America. This former orange man being the most disgusting candidate to become president again. And the racist and sexist misogynist ignore the noise. Donald Trump, who said in Pennsylvania on Sunday that he regrets leaving the White House in 2021, is ending the 2024 campaign the way he began it, dishing out a stew of violent, disparaging rhetoric and repeated warnings that he will not accept defeat if he, if it, excuse me, he will not accept defeat if it comes. At a rally in the must-win battleground state, the former president told supporters that he shouldn't have left office after losing the 2020 election, described Democrats as demonic and complained about a new poll that no longer shows him leading in Hawaii, which he twice carried. Trump spent much of his speech ranting about alleged election interference this year and lamenting his departure from office after losing to joe biden four years ago the u.s had the safest border in the history of our country on the day he left office trump claimed i shouldn't have left i mean honestly he went on hackneying back 